Okay, here we are. Um, we're going to attempt a router OS uh, firmware update. As you can see on the screen here, I'm currently running version 6.40.2, and I believe there is a newer version. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so just a quick review here. The Switches uh, interface has three different options. There's a quick set, which has just the very basic um, settings to get the unit up and running, which we did in a previous video. And then there is a web fig, which is a more comprehensive web interface, uh, allowing you to access um, all the various features. And finally, there is a terminal, which basically gives you a uh, command line interface uh, within the web browser, which you can also get through, I think, other protocols like SSH or Telnet, uh, and, uh, or if you're to use the uh, Winbox utility. But for uh, this video, I'm going to use the web interface. And so <clears throat> to do the firmware update, and this is the first time um, I'm doing this, so bear with me. Um, I believe it's under system menu, and it's not auto upgrade, but it is under packages. And we can do check for updates. And so here we're also able to select uh, which channel of releases we want. Um, I will keep with current, which I think is the stable. Um, if if you ever have a problem that uh, needs to be urgently fixed, you might consider going into a release candidate or maybe development, um, or if you just want to try new features that they uh, Microtech might be working on, you can change that. But for now, I'm going to do current, and as you can see, the latest version is 6.41.1. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and install. Okay, um, it took a couple of minutes. The switch uh, shut itself down and I think it performed the, the update and the web interface was unreachable for uh, approximately a minute, maybe two minutes. And then as you can see right now, I'm uh, able to access it again and the firmware version is now at 6.41.1 so let's log in make sure everything's still okay um, yep so everything looks like it's there let's go back to packages and so as you can see everything is at version 6.41.1 and let's check for updates uh, looks like everything's already up to date and so that's it fairly simple um, I think if there were room for improvement um, perhaps to have some sort of user confirmation of you know are you sure you want to perform this update now um, it just kind of immediately took action uh, as soon as we clicked download and install so um, I don't know if that's necessary uh, but uh, in a lot of systems they they tend to be very cautious in taking action uh, that kind of action uh, whereas this is you know you click on it and it goes so anyway um, that seems like it was a su successful uh, firmware update and uh, it was fairly simple all right thanks